Hello everyone, Ian here at Able Cine in Burbank. Today I am checking out the MoveCam wireless lens control system. It's a two-part system for focus and for zoom. It's a completely modular design. I have uh, everything that I need on my hand control assembled here. But before we get into this, I want to look at the receiver and the motors. I've attached the zoom module here and put my motor cable in. So now I'm ready to power up. I have my handset turned on. And as soon as I fire this up, you can see the channel status of the battery. This is the charge from the battery into the receiver and my status is okay. As far as range goes, we're about 600 feet of range from handset to receiver. I'll give you a quick overview of the menu structure in just a moment, but first I just wanna talk about the layout of the handset itself. Everything is uh, meant to be quickly and easily accessed. Also, the window here is giving us a quick uh, synopsis of the status of the machine so I can see my channel selection here, my battery status. It uses a DSLR type battery for power. My recording status, uh, they are making a number of different cables for all the popular cameras of the day to be able to start record on off. Also notice that up here I have a record and also up here on the uh, zoom module I have a record. The reason why they repeated these commands is because notice this red uh, neural knob here. This will allow me to detach the zoom module from the handset and with this rosette here, I could, for example, put it onto a uh, pan bar of a tripod head and have that zoom function separated from the focus function. On the top of this module, there's a little multi-connector and that would be hardwired into the receiver. That would give you your power and allow you to uh, activate the zoom. For that reason, they have replicated the menu screen on the handset on the uh, zoom module as well. So all the parameters that I will show you uh, on the handset menu are replicated here. Also on the side, uh, just next to the marking scale and the focus knob is a blue button. This is the limiter button. This limits the range of focus uh, on the scale of your lens. So for example, if I wanna have focus just between three feet and five feet, I just roll my lens to three feet, hit this button once, roll to five feet, hit it again, and now the entire rotation of this knob will only occupy the focus range from three feet to five feet. I want to give you just a brief overview of the menus. We talked about the status menus here, but let's go in and check out the menus themselves. Now I can go in and I can scroll through here and quickly change uh, all the different parameters. For instance, I can change my uh, channel, my control setup, any of these I go in and now I can allocate uh, different functions to different parts. So we have these two modules attached to us or attached to the handset. So it's asking me, uh, I've got the knob being focus and the stick on my zoom module being zoom. But if I wanted to switch something around, I can just hit the switch button, go in and change it. And as soon as I go back, it's now locked into the memory. Also has the capability for 3D work. So uh, both motors would be locked together. In the motor setup, I can go in here and I can allocate again what task is being used by what motor. There will be an update to a three channel system. That's why you see the focus iris and zoom allocations here. And I can go in and individually change each torque of each motor. One being the lightest, I can go and go through. Four is uh, the highest torque. I can go in and I can change the speed of the zoom stick uh, for my zoom motor. Backlight, pretty self-explanatory. The uh, knob is illuminated. This is the focus knob that is illuminated. I could turn that on or off. Language and defaults and uh, the ability to do firmware updates. These are the UM1 motors. They will serve any function on the lens. I have them hooked up to focus and zoom right now. A couple of features make them very uh, fast and easy to work with. I have a tie down here on my 32 pitch gear with a flathead I can loosen that, pop it over to the other side like you can see on the zoom motor here. Quickly and easily configure these motors to any type of uh, lens I might be using. 
the brackets that hold the motors come with a 15 mil insert here. I could take that sleeve out and now I'm ready to go on to 19 millimeter. The uh, construction is such a way that these will trombone up and down, uh, makes it very fast and easy to configure. On the front, I have this red button that serves a couple of functions. If I hold it in for two seconds, it will calibrate the motor to whatever function I've allocated it to on the lens. The second function is I'm going to roll my focus back here a little bit. If I go counterclockwise right now, I hit infinity. I'm going to roll back. I'm going to hit the button for two seconds. And maybe I want to have that function differently. Maybe I want to roll clockwise to infinity. So notice that the scaling has now reoriented itself. Now I'm going to roll clockwise on my focus knob and I go right into infinity. In the event that you want to hardwire between the handset and the uh, receiver here, it is supplied in the kit with a cable to do so. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.